In today's video, we're going to be doing two more looks using the Ghost Town USA palette from Nomad Cosmetics. Once again, we have this holographic changing cover, which is just so freaking awesome, and this beautiful color story. Nine mattes, nine shimmers. These mattes are absolutely buttery. The shimmers are their new soft touch shimmer formula and it's creamy it's absolutely beautiful i've been having so much fun with this palette i don't want to babble too much in this intro so let's go on ahead and jump into look number one welcome to look number one i've already primed my eyelids using my party proof primer from ColourPop. this one is in caramel so we are all prepped and ready for this look let's go ahead and jump right on in I think for this one i'm just going to kind of focus on these cool neutrals over here so we're just going to focus on this row of mattes and then bring in a pop of color using the shimmers i might like mix and match the shimmers but for the most part we're going to stick in here for our mattes just thought i would kind of keep it simple today for the second look for the video i might go a little bit more wild we will just have to see what i've been doing is starting with the deeper shade but i think i'm going to start with my crease shade first which is going to be this middle shade and that is bandit queen Sounds really, really cute. I'm going to use my crease brush from Real Techniques. And we're just going to dip into the powder, into our shadow. Make sure we tap off some of the excess. These shadows can be pretty intensely pigmented, as you saw if you watched the first video where I was just talking about the palette. My palette, like, got here late, but I had so much fun doing that video and so much fun working with this palette. All right, right off the bat, I am liking how that is looking. Oh, that is so pretty. Yeah, these tones right here in this particular column have kind of a lavender purple kind of a effect to it. I'm going to go into my Beauty Bay brush, and we're going to go into the deepest shade, and that shade is called Deadwood, and we're just going to lay that on the outer corner. I may end up having to deepen it with something else, it just depends, but we're going to start there. So how have you guys been doing? Today is September 2nd. I am about to start putting up my Halloween decorations. I did decorate the background. I did a little bit more this time than I did last year. And I'm just like really, really into spooky season this year. And I just kind of wanted everything to just fit the holiday and look really, really spooky. But I am going to get my decorations up. I already got my graveyard put up. I'll take a picture of it and I'll drop it in the video so you guys can see what that is looking like. Most of my decorations come from the Dollar Tree. Since I live in an apartment, you know, I don't have room for like the really big old fancy decorations, which I'm telling you right now, if I did have the room for it, they our yard would just be like covered in decorations but the dollar tree has like some really really good decorations and so i've i have a lot of stuff that i've collected the last couple of years so the graveyard is already done but i still got to do the rest of the decorating and i'm extremely excited about that all right so far i am liking this look it's very very simple we're just working on these cool tone nudes. This particular shade has a little bit more brown to it. Not as deep of a rich purple as those other two shades were coming off on the eyelid. Ooh, so pretty. I'm going to go back in with Bandit Queen and just kind of deepen the crease in here. Bring back in a little bit more of that purpley tone because I really, really do like the way that looks in the shadow. Now I'm going to go in with the Blend Bunny. I think this is the B1. It's just kind of a fluffier blending brush. And we're going to take in the last one, which is Undead Sheriff right here. And I'm just going to use that to kind of dust on the top to blend it out. Brighten up the brow bone a little bit. And I think I'm going to take that in the inner corner as well, just to kind of brighten that area. I think I may have used this same shade with the first look just to kind of go in the inner portion but it is such a beautiful shade and you know who's to say that i can't use you know the same shades over again if i wanted to <laughs> i'm going to be doing a second look for this video and then a fourth look for a shorts video as well i think that'll be the most looks i've done <laughs> with the palette in a while but I, I finally have the time to actually you know do that and that makes me very very happy I really love the tone of that shade. It is so pretty. All right, now we're going to go into our shimmers. And the first thing we're going to do is lay down our base booster from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to lay that down and then we'll come back and we'll pick out our shades. 
All right, so for this one, we're going we're gonna to kind of mix and match here. I'm going to go into Calico, California, this green right here, and then we're going to kind of mix that and take that into this one, which is Copper Penny. I really like the shade names in this palette, too. So I'm taking that shade on the same sticky brush that I used to lay down my base, and this is just the angled flat end of a double-ended BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm pretty much just going to kind of dab this all over the lid kind of cutting it into that crease area that is another beautiful shade and i'm just loving how like super creamy this formula is like even when you dab your brush into the shades it just melts it's so freaking stunning taken right, going back in on the outer corner with the matte just to blend and melt the two shades together. I've got a little copper penny on this small flat shade of brush and we're going to take that into the inner portion and just kind of melt that into that green. Ooh, that's so pretty. I'm going in with the flat side of the BH Cosmetics brush just to kind of melt the two shades together you want everything to be kind of you know to be blended we don't want like super harsh lines from one shade to the next all right i'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye throw on my liner my lashes something on my waterline something on my lips and we'll come back and see the final look all put together you guys i am absolutely loving the way that this eyelet came together everything just looks so metallic so jewel tone just so sparkly i am so freaking loving it i realized that i didn't add an inner corner highlight and i did want to add something just to kind of brighten the inner area so i took tombstone right here and just added that to the inner corner and i think it just brought everything together i just think it looks so pretty you'll definitely have, have to let me know down in the comments what you guys think let me go ahead and give you the rest of my details real quick for my lower water line i'm using one of the liners these are one of the gel liners from Odenside. these just have numbers on them and this one is 006 it's kind of a chartreuse green i have to admit that I like the ColourPop ones better. I feel like the Uden's Eye ones don't glide on as smooth as the ColourPop ones do, but the shade is really, really pretty, and I think it brought the look together. Once again, using my NYX Epic Ink Liner for my wing. I don't know what lashes I'm wearing. The actual outer carton that says the name is like gone so i have no clue like what brand this is but i like just the very simple curl that these have and to finish this off for my lips i'm using a combination of this is from face secret it's a lip liner 24 hour waterproof and long lasting the shade is rose dust i got this from timu and then the lipstick i got this out of a revolution advent calendar last christmas i don't know the shade doesn't have a shade name on it but it's kind of a soft cool tone pink I, thought I wanted something a little subtle on the lips so that the eyes would be the focus of this look but that is going to be it for look number one let's move on to look number two let's jump into putting together look number two i've already primed my eyelids once again with my party proof eyeshadow primer from ColourPop in caramel and today we're going to do something a little bit smoky kind of want to focus on this column i'm going to take this one into the crease first this shade is called calamity jane so we're going to take that one to the crease this one on the outer corner i might take something else into the inner portion but let's start here first and then we'll just kind of go from there once again i'm using my crease brush from real technique tap off the brush just a little bit and we're just going to go directly into the crease with the shade and then just start lightly building this area oh lord Ooh, that is super super pigmented i'm definitely not gonna have to dip a second time into that shade let's just slowly blend this out taking the beauty bay detail brush and we're going into this deeper shade right here that shade is called dead man's hand and i'm just going to use that to deepen the outer corner so how are you guys doing how is your labor day weekend so far i gave myself a three-day weekend as many of you guys know i am an uber driver so i pretty much just pick my schedule i was about to go over here i just kind of want to build over here first i actually meant to do both eyes so i'm going to go on ahead and add that crease shade to this side real quick first i don't know why i didn't do that to begin with kind of weird i don't know where my mind was i've just pretty much been lazy i've gotten some things done around the house 
gotten some videos filmed. This is the first time in a while that I've actually been able to sit down and have any like real time to film videos. Got the Halloween decorations up in the from the rest of the house. In the first look, I had just gotten only the little graveyard part done on the outside, but now the entire house is filmed finished. I might show you guys some of that in a future vlog. We'll see, but very, very excited the house is finally spookified. So now it matches the background, which I did finish that yesterday as well. These shades are so beautiful. They're so super, super pigmented. Right now I'm just kind of slowly building in that outer corner. I said I want this to be a little bit smokier. Blend that on the outer corner just like that so pretty so pigmented so rich there'll be one more look done after this video that one may already be up it depends it just kind of depends on how the editing schedule goes and what order i get them done you know what i want to do something a little bit lighter let me take some of the shadow off of this brush and i'm going to go into skinner saloon right here and just kind of build a little bit more in that crease i feel like i'm not really getting much depth like it's not much of a difference the, sh the crease and the outer corner are kind of looking the same and i want them to have a little bit more depth we would see a little bit more difference between the shades all right that's better this eye as usual is more is deeper than this size so let me work on this to try to get the eyes matched and then we'll move on to the next step i want to blend this out a little bit more so i'm going to go into ghost town right here and i'm going to take that onto the upper portion kind of going into the brow bone just to blend that out a little bit more I have a little bit more of a contrast going on and i'm just going to use this big fluffy brush for that and we're just going to lightly lightly blend the edges just feel like it's looking a little bit harsh i just kind of want it a little bit softer yeah like that that's a little bit better one thing to note about these shadows i don't think i mentioned it when i did like the reveal video the initial review but there is a lot of fallout so you do want to like go in lightly and just kind of tap off your brush to get rid of some of the excess just to avoid fallout all right i am liking the way that is looking just to add a little bit more smokiness and contrast on the outer corner, I'm going to go in with this smaller detail brush from Perfusion, and I'm going to go into Arrested Decay right here. I just want to deepen this area just a little bit more. So I'm going to kind of focus that here. Yeah, like that. Just a little bit more of a kind of smokiness going on there. Kind of feel like we're like kind of one note <laughs> with the shades. Or like all you're really seeing is that blue all right there we go much much better okay now we're gonna go ahead and go into our shimmers i'm not going to use a glitter base this time i kind of want to see how they perform without it i'm going to go in with garnet montana i believe that's what that says we're going to take this one on the lid and then we're going to go into this one going into the corner actually i'm just going to take this one all over the lid and then maybe add a little bit of something in the inner corner but this is going to be our main focus shade kind of do like a smoky silvery kind of a look going on like i said i'm not going to um use a glitter base this time i do want to mention something i didn't mention this in the initial video but like i said this is a newer soft touch formula so when you go in you want to kind of be a little bit careful because you'll notice that the shadow does kind of move around the shimmers because they're super super soft so just lightly go in with your brush and you should be able to pick up just the right amount of product and as you know with all shimmers you can use a glitter base you can use your finger some folks like to use those little sponge tip applicators i've heard that those work really really good but i'm just going to kind of pack this on the lid i'm going to go i'm going to add a little bit onto the matte shadow too as well so pretty this one is just so sparkly just so shiny like very very jewel tone Ooh, that's pretty I feel like I'm not getting quite enough payoff with just the brush alone. Will you look at that? Oh my god, that is so pretty. So I'm just pressing it on. Yeah, I like that better. That is such a very shiny metallic looking shade. I'm going to go back in with Shriners, Shriners Saloon, something like that. 
and then just blend these two in the crease like that for the inner portion I'm gonna go in with roulette Nevada and just lay that down oh this one has more of a cool copper kind of a tone to it oh that is stunning I'm just kind of taking it and lightly blending it into the last shade mmm I am so loving the way this is coming out you guys almost took the wrong brush all right just gonna bring everything together for the very inner portion of the eye what do I want to do I guess I'll go into tombstone the other um, shimmers in the palette are a little bit deeper and not quite bright enough for an inner corner highlight I don't know if this one's gonna be bright enough for an inner corner highlight either but it's very pretty mmm yeah really really love the way this look came together we're gonna leave it here I'm gonna go off camera throw on liner lashes something on my lips and then we will come back and just kind of talk about what I'm thinking about this palette now that I've had a chance to use it some more and I can tell you I have really been having fun with it look number two is complete what do you guys think I have to say I am loving the way this look came together this beautiful wet metallic look of the shadows super creamy super wet looking I, I am freaking in love they are stunning let me give you guys my details and then we'll talk some more about this palette first of all once again my wing I'm using my NYX epic ink liner the lashes are the same lashes from the first look no clue what style they are the uh, packaging the actual name gone I, I don't know what style lashes these are but I am loving them I think they're so freaking pretty in my waterline I'm using one of my Trace Luce Intenso liners in Icy it's just a super wet looking pearl liner and my lips the combination of the Beauty Bay Lip Pencil in Heart, and then from Kiko Milano, I don't know the shade, just says 01. This is part of a trio of mini lips that they put out, excuse me, for their holiday collection a couple years ago. It's just a very, very pretty, soft, creamy pink. I thought that would go really well with this eye look. And once again, you guys, I am loving how everything came together. This palette, it is so freaking beautiful. I believe as far as formula wise I have to say I think this is my favorite one that Nomad has launched so far this year they have launched some beautiful formulas they have launched some beautiful color stories but just all around color story formula the formula of these creamy shimmers I have to say I think this is my favorite one that they've launched so far they knocked it out of the park with this one this one is just absolutely stunning once again there will be one more look done with this so there'll be four looks all together who knows I, I may do some more looks this month if I feel so inclined that one may already be up before this video but once again it just kind of depends on the scheduling but yeah if you're still you know thinking about this palette you're not sure I'm telling you guys it's beautiful I think it's worth every penny it's stunning I have no complaints I I'm having so much fun with this palette. I am loving it. All right, so that is going to be it for these two looks. I hope you found them helpful. I hope you enjoyed watching me put these looks together. Definitely let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. I have to say, I think this one of the two is my favorite. I am just loving these cool metallic tones which is so freaking pretty if you're new to my channel and you're not already subscribed i would love it if you consider joining my family and uh, hitting subscribe make sure you tap the bell so you don't miss a thing if you enjoy the video definitely give the video a thumbs up it really does help with my little small channel getting into that algorithm you can also follow me on my other socials i'm on tiktok instagram and facebook be safe take care of yourself and i'll see you in the next one Bye. Thank you.